Hello guys, it's BVG Hill again. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So today, we've got another older game, like game dev yesterday. This is Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. This is a remastered edition that you can get on Steam. Obviously, link in the description below. But this is one of the first games they made. Remastered in beautiful 1080p. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Nope. Fahrenheit. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard mm -hmm. Destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, Gotta fix my the life descended into facial chaos. Hair here. definitely tell this game is aged, but the remaster does it a lot of justice. It's held up surprisingly well. Ooh. A little stutter there, these are beats. Taking a pee. Come on, Crow. Why you gotta be spying on people taking pee like that? Come on. You raised in a barn? Got a dude over here. He's, uh... Uh-oh. It's a little sketchy. A dude twitching in the bathroom stall with a bloody knife. Things aren't looking too good for this guy. He's just trying to take a pee, trying to wash his hands, you know? You got this guy over here, he's possessed by something. He's have a weird, creepy flashback. I think it's all got to do with the crew. That's what I'm blaming. Uh-oh. Your seconds are numbered, dude. how this guy doesn't even notice him in the mirror. I mean, you can see clear as day there's a bloody twitchy dude walking up behind you. I mean, he was looking right in the mirror, but hey, whatever. Whatever. I don't question. Stab. Stab. Victory! There's a creepy girl pointing the finger. Oh no, what have I done? What? What, what have I done? He's depressed. I would be too. I woke up from a possessed stupor and I, I found myself. It was like a dream. Hovering over some dead dude with a knife in my hand. 
couldn't imagine what that would feel like. To not have any recollection of what just happened. Quick. And the popo is right outside. I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Yeah, the red corner is on. Okay. Can we, like, go... Yeah, that's what we want. Out of order. Oh. Okay, yeah, this one. Let's wash up a little bit, get the blood off our face. Blood off our arms and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean. Do, 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 do. Hello, officer. Uh, I didn't murder anyone in the bathroom. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm out of here. See you later. Peace. Sir. The waitress. She noticed something. Huh? I'm done for. Yes? I think that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh, yes, of course. I... Excuse me. The bill for the meal. How could I forget that? Good grief. Good thing the freaking cop didn't come outside, like... Hey, you! Random dude sprinting up and down the street. Minus 10 Celsius. That's a little chilly. Dog's dining. If I say so myself. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day Poor in dude. New York. We almost have the same beating. Especially when I'm on night duty. It's nice as if boy. every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. You're the boss. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, God, Tyler. He stutters. Hey, Martin. Ridiculous. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Who is the victim? His name yeah, was, uh, he? John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Lane. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Oh, poor Kate. Did anybody notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. Yeah, you don't mind me saying, Kate. go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. That's yeah, just a dead guy in the bathroom. There's nothing wrong with that. It's I'm going to wait until you're York. finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home OK. Look, I know you're having a bad time, but I Kate? need you to tell me everything. I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to him. What was he like, Kate? What did he look Do you like? think you could describe what did he look him like for Kate? me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. You have to try to be strong, sure, uh, Kate. Be I know strong, that this Kate. has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. You're the key. My shift was almost over. The key, I was Kate. just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The man came back, he paid his bill and left. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. 
if I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never mm. forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? We'll make a nice drawing of it. Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. And then you point Thank the you finger very and take the bastard help, down. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise Ooh. you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Good guy, Martin. Hey, you followed me. What's up, man? Chilling on that on your phone? Several wounds on the left side of the chest. Stabby, stabby. In the area of the heart. Mm -hmm. Appear to be knife wounds. And he left the murder weapon. Get it. A table knife covered in blood. Mm. Killer used his silverware to stab his victim. That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, I want you to verify that Garrett has lifted the prints off this knife handle. Have him check out the blood on the blade as well. Okay. I know he was in here because I have the insight of watching the cutscene that happened. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna switch to the other guy. See what he's got. What do you got, bro? Dun, dun, dun. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of it. Hey, Garrett. Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry. I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was going to keep us up a little longer. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't third get my night. beauty sleep, it's Zombie City. Uh, you should be out of here pretty soon, though. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. <laughs> and she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. All right, Carla. Are we done? Are we done now? Uh, leave. You ready to go, Tyler? Yeah, let's I think I've seen everything here. I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, we're good. Let's head home. Let's get out. Okay, open. let's bust. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. Get in. Let's roll. Let's roll up on out of here. Sergeant Miles. That's a nice ride, though. For reals. For reals. There's a crow. The possessing crow. Uh oh. Flashback. already has blood on it. All right. That wasn't a flashback. That was some kind of weird hazy possession. Oh, we got some serious lag going on. Jeez. A nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. Well, look at your bed, bro. And your arms. I wasn't dreaming. Arms. It all really happened. Oh no. I, I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Now get up. There we go. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. That should help my migraine. Take some Notice reads. Don't take with alcohol. 
Don't take with alcohol. Alcohol. Can I change the seat? The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway. Can't change the sheets. Just gonna leave them. Oh, okay. Yes, I can change the sheets. This will hide the blood in case anyone comes in the room. I'll change the sheets later. Let's go wash our hands. Do 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 do. Ooh. Oh, gotta wash my hands first. Alright, I'll get the phone. Apparently I can't wash my arms in this. Hi, this is Lucas Kane. I'm not here right now, so please leave a message. Hello, Lucas. It's Marcus. I'm calling because tomorrow is the 10th anniversary of the accident. I thought, well, maybe you might want to go together. Hello? Lucas, it's good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you, you wanted to go to Mama Dad's tomb together. And to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Meet you in half an hour. So we gotta get cleaned up. Repossessed. Flashback. Oh my god. The clothes that I was wearing last night are covered in blood. I better not leave them there. Showers in his boxers. That's that's normal. Oh, this is for my arms. Right. Okay. You know, basic first aid. <laughs> Not creepy at all. <laughs> oh, I just got that sanity back. Why you gotta be taking it away? Maybe we should. Man, but I just took meds for this. Why am I having? Uh -oh. New York police. It's Please Popo. open the door. Get ready. Massacre in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. The killer... Hey, Crow. You following me? Yeah, I think you're following me. You better get, you better get your ass out of here. I don't like your kind around here, Mr. Crow. That's right. p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and... New York police, please open the door. The police, they know. They've come to arrest me. Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. This is your last warning. Open the door now, or I knock it down. I don't know where the... I don't know where the freaking keys are! Damn it all. Officer, I don't know where I put my keys because I'm a moron, and I have absolutely no freaking idea where I left them. Ah, there it is. No, no, no. Pick up. Pick up the key. Pick up the key. Come on, come on, come on. Pick it up. Don't look around. Pick up the damn key. Go. 
No, 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 no. Don't look out the freaking door. Open it. Open it. Open it. Don't move. And that's how my story ends. The neighbors called the cops. Son of a biscuit. Now I know where the key is, so we'll load back up and... Well, New my York freaking police. game crashed. Please open the door. The police. They know. They've come to arrest me. But... I reloaded the game, started recording again. Police. Open up. I know where the freaking Just key a minute, is. I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Yeah, there's no evidence. I hit it all already. Hello, officer. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Yes, Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? By all means, yeah, sure. <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. Come on in. Oh, Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. Oh, it's no With problem, everything officer. that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. Peace out, sir. Oh, disaster averted. But. On that note, we're going to have to end it there. I feel like this is a decent spot. Next time we start, we will go and visit Lucas's brother in the park and probably play as the officer lady and the other dude. I forgot their names already like an idiot. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it for this video. So remember, as always, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button down below. The link for this game will be in the description. If you really liked it, make sure to hit subscribe. And if it just blew your mind, make sure to share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people on the street, whatever floats your boat. And I'll see you guys in the next one.